and what I've done. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because you guys are in a unique position. Your professor is introducing you to entrepreneurs. I never had that opportunity. Nobody ever sat down and talked to me about the idea of ownership. Um, I was taught to be a machine. When I was in the Navy, I could fix airplanes. So I was a shooter. I was a catapult person. I, what I did was check the airplane before it launched off of the flight deck. And that was my job. And I was a very good shooter, but I was a machine. I wasn't creative. Um, about as creative as I got was doing the Michael Jackson kick once the airplane left the flight deck. <laughs> and um, that was something that you did just so you could stand out when you were launching airplanes. Um, I was a machine, like I said. I didn't have my own thought process. I fixed the jet, the jet flew, it came back. That was, I was irritated, and um, I was like, you know, hey, I've given you everything that you need. I need to focus on me, and this was something that my wife and I talked about. And um, what I have a real problem with is um, spreading myself too thin. And this is something that you don't want to do as an entrepreneur. Uh, figure out what your lane is. Figure out what it is that you have a good idea about and then actually invest the time into your idea. I have a problem with investing my time into a lot of different things, and it distracts me from what I'm really supposed to be doing. So in uh, December, I decided that it was time for me to leave that school. I had done what I was supposed to do. Um, the salary was not what it was originally, which meant that I needed to move on anyway. Uh, but don't work yourself out of positions like I did. Then again, do it. You know what? Who cares? <laughs> do what you're supposed to do, and then you let whatever happens, it just happens. Then you say the hell with it and keep it moving. All right, so here we go. Um, it's the time you think people go out here and start a company, and they don't start it with a business plan. You have to have a business plan. If you don't have a business plan, you will fail. I don't care who you are. You're never going to be that lucky to be Zuckerberg. So whichever one of you guys are here saying to yourself, I'm going to be the next door Zuckerberg. Yes. Trust me, somebody um, I want to be the had a business plan, and you can be, we'll talk about that in a moment. <laughs> Along with all of the different things that I've learned, I run all of my own websites. That means that reading PHP, understanding um, databases, and learning different HTML codes to make the websites work, I don't pay anyone to run my websites. As an entrepreneur, if you decide that you are going to start a business, you better start picking up books and learning how to read and learn how to do a lot of things on your own. The people that will tell you that they're going to help, very often they won't. And I mean, and that's just the honest truth. Very often they won't. Um, realize that you need a grassroots marketing program. You can have all the money in the world, all the money in the world, but if you don't have access to a network of people in a grassroots situation, you're going to die. Why? Because Nike will always have more money than you. Always. You're never going to be able to outspend them. So you better be able to be critically aware and thinking about how you're going to get your name out there and your product out there. Because you're not going to outspend anybody. So your goal isn't to spend money on marketing and all these other things. Your goal is to figure out how to do it and to save the money and still get the product out there. So I had the website. Like I said, no one helped me with this. I would go home after my camps that I run for two to three days, and I would spend four days every night until midnight talking to people in China, editing video, cutting it, creating web pages, and creating this website. So Center Court Basketball began as a recruitment website. And what it did was it helped players get into college. Center court basketball over the last year, however, has changed. And let's see if that comes up, but I think this page is frozen, isn't it? Well, now it has changed and shifted. So um, what it is now, you see this, this is Can I Kick It? This is a sneaker expo that I've been helping. I had an intern down at Blue Mountain College where I'm speaking next week. And um, he's a, I'm like, what, what don't you do? Um, I don't know what he doesn't do. There's a lot that I do, but you know, I keep it all in perspective. What I've done with Center Court Basketball now is I've turned it into an NBA blog. So when you go to it, you can read about NCAA teams or NBA teams. Now, who does all the writing for it? You. Me. Every morning, 
7 o'clock, 6.30, every time I wake up, I watch the games the night before, then I go back and rewatch the highlights, and I sit down and I write articles. And I have to admit, I'm a funny dude. <laughs> so I come up with these really cool captions and on the pictures, and the pictures come from uh, NBA.com, and I give credit to NBA.com, and that way they won't bother me and say, hey, you're using our pictures. I give them credit. On every picture, I say, pick from NBA.com. Um, but all of the information is as pure me. I write all of this. You click it and go to it. You want to always buy Nike. I can't, I, it's stupid for me to think that you aren't. I know you're going to buy it. So what do I do? I give you that when I don't have mine. But also, when I do have mine, where do they uh, show up? On this page, right next to Adidas, Nike, Reebok. Therefore, my brand is given validation. You see my brand right alongside of the stuff that you buy all the time on my website. I have validation. You now say, man, those running shoes look like they might be kind of comfortable. I think I'll buy a pair of those. Because it's there. But these are small things. These are small marketing points, ideas that you have that you have to develop your own plan of action. Okay? So, you see over here on the side, I have a Facebook fan page. I also have a regular Facebook page. But I have a Facebook fan page. I have a Twitter account. Um, I have my website underneath here. I have my publishing website over here. Um, I have all these different things. I have an eBay store. I have links to other sneaker shops, so if I don't have a certain shoe, they go to the other website. If they go to the other website and they go through me, I get a kickback. And these guys will send me money back from the sale of a shoe that they had on another website. All different streams of revenue. All right? So here, here we have...